This video explains how to add an empty column to a data frame using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you several examples and all of these examples are based on the data frame that we can create with lines two to four of the code. So after running these lines of code, a new data frame object is appearing at the top right, which is called data. And we can print this data frame to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line five of the code. And then you can see that we have created a data frame containing five rows and the three columns x1, x2 and x3. Now let's assume that we want to create an additional column in this data frame, which is empty. Then we can apply the dollar operator, as you can see in line seven of the code. After the dollar operator, we need to specify the name of the new column that we want to create. And then in this case, I'm assigning to this new column an empty character string. So after running line seven of the code, our data frame is updated, as you can see by printing the data frame once again to the RStudio console. And now you can see that our data frame contains the same columns as in the previous part of the code, the columns x1, x2 and x3. However, in addition to that, we have added a new column called new one. And this column contains only empty character strings. It's also possible to add an empty column which contains NA values. So NA stands for not available. And this can be done as you can see in line 10 of the code. So once again, we are using the dollar operator. However, then we are assigning to this the NA value. So after running line 10 of the code, our data set is updated once again, as you can see by printing the data frame. And then you can see at the bottom that our final data frame contains two empty columns, the column u1, which was created in the previous example, and the column new 2 which contains only NA values. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching, see you in the next video.